Many battles have been won over the years to ensure the rights and freedoms of LGBT people, but the fight's not over. It's illegal to be gay in over 75 countries in the world, and in five of them, you can be put to death just because of who you love. Every single day, I receive requests for help from individuals around the world who are fighting for their lives. They've been fired from their jobs, kicked out of their homes, or even seen them burnt to the ground, stabbed, raped, and received death threats, kicked out of their family homes, and have nowhere to turn because the police and governments in their country not only tolerate, but support this violence against them. I have lost a lot of friends um, because of homophobia and um, being also involved in the LGBT community in my country um, kind of reminded me that maybe sooner or later I will go just like other friends. It was a very scary thing. It was always looking over my shoulders, wondering when will my day come. You know, if I will, when I leave my house today, will I be able to go back home? Or if I go to my bed tonight, if I will wake up? Since 2006, our team of volunteers has helped individuals find a safe house in their home country, provided information and resources on claiming asylum, and helped them develop their own route to safety. We've provided funds for airfare and pre-travel support to help over 95 individuals travel to a safer country. In a very real way, we know that a plane ticket issued quickly for those who are asking for our help can mean the difference between life and death. Having actually lived in some of the countries where <clears throat> the notion of gay doesn't even exist in people's vocabulary, right? I have lived in those countries. The sense of isolation, despair, loneliness that I have felt, I would never want anyone else to feel it. What I personally find attractive about it is it's very tangible. You donate a certain amount of money, you donate a certain amount of your time, and you are actually able to see physical people moving from other parts of the world to a much safer place. So when we're able to finally book someone to leave their country to a place of safety, it brings a feeling of shared joy and happiness and feel like you know you have done something so great. It's one of the greatest feelings you could ever think of. Um, it's very overwhelmingly happy for me. Um, it's like wow, you know, I'm breathing, I'm helping someone to live a life that you know they have only dreamed of and that you know Rainbow Railroad has a part in this and it was, it's just a it's just a huge beautiful feeling. So to feel that you've played a small role in helping shifting a life from danger to safety is so real and it's very profound. I'm Justin Taylor and I'm on board. I am Karim Ladak and I'm on board. I am Carleen Williams-Clark and I am on board.